What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel with your girl Trinity J. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm doing like 20 or 30 plus TV slash so movie show recommendations. I have so many recommendations from each streaming site. I have not all of them because Obviously, I don't have all of them, and I probably didn't find a lot of good shows in a lot of them. But on, but the ones that like are HBO and Peacock, those are the ones I'm not doing, and Disney Plus. So the ones I'm doing are three main ones, which is Hulu, Netflix, and Prime Video. Those are the top three uh, recommendations I'm gonna give y'all from, which is the top three almost everyone has. So yeah, before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on notifications to get notified every time I post a video. And yeah, let's just, I don't know why I keep saying, and yeah, and yeah. But let's just get right into the video. Okay guys, I have a list of notes for each show. I have Netflix, and then I got some Hulu on this side, and on the other side, like a Prime video. So I'm just gonna go off my notes on the show. I'm going off my memory of the best I can of these shows. I'm probably gonna give y'all the Netflix recommendation. <laughs> the Netflix description also, so you guys can actually get the real on what the show is really about. Show or movie. I'm doing shows and movie and I'm gonna tell you guys if the if it's a show or if it's a movie. Most of the things I have on here are not like 10 out of 10 shows or movies. And I also want to let you know some of the shows and movies I do have. I did not watch them. I got some recommendations from TikTok or from people I know. So some of these shows I did not watch. But I watched trailers and I probably watched like a few minutes of the first episode and wanted to add it to my list. And so you guys can have recommendations. So let's just get jump. Let's just jump right in now. Okay, the first we're going to start off with Netflix. The first movie i'm gonna do a movie is along for the ride along for the ride is a movie about a young teenage girl who lives with her mom but who wants to go live with her dad and her stepmom so while she's there she's going to go live with them because she wants to find herself like she wants to be a new person of herself so she goes to live with her father and her stepmom she would end up working at her stepmom bakery and ends up becoming friends with you know these group of people it's like she's starring the girl from dog with the blog not starring but she's like in the movie avery from dog with the blog so she's in there i was so happy to see her but her parents are always fighting so her parents are divorced so they always end up fighting so the reason why she said she was a night owl which means she doesn't go to sleep at night a lot she always stays up and she'll go outside on this like pier and this boy on the bike will keep coming to her and then they started doing like you know a little relationship while well, i started becoming friends and liking each other you know like a little romance type of show but also her dad is like a worker, a workaholic. All he do is work, work, work. And the stepmom is there with a baby and he's not helping him, her with the baby at all. Like it's so, it is so irritating, but it's also a really good movie because I love the dynamic between the friends and how she builds a relationship with the guy. The next movie is called Hustle. It's featuring Adam Sandler. He is the main character in the show. I also want to tell you guys this is a basketball movie. Some stuff I might have basketball movies. Adam Sandler is like a coach, not like a like a recruiter. He's a recruiter to recruit people for basketball. He finds this guy, but I think he's like, he's not English. I think he's originally from Spain, but now he lives in, I think, I think America. Yeah, he lives in America now. They're there. And so he's originally from Spain. So he gets this person who's very, very good. But he has a daughter and people use it as a weakness to get in his head. So whenever they play a game, they would get in his head. He'll start missing his shots because they would talk about his daughter. So and then throughout the movie, he ends up getting recruiting to this NBA team. There's a lot of NBA players actually starring in it. Um, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris. Uh, so many other um, famous basketball people. So basically what Adam Sandler is doing, his boss basically told him no, he didn't want him on his team because of the weakness he had to his daughter, which she would make. Cause they needed one player, Adam Sandler or whatever his name is in the show, the recruiter, um, needs to find one person. He finds someone really good. He trained him hard on and on saying, you're gonna make it to the NBA, gonna be there. And yeah, I'm not gonna spoil that much if he made it or not, but I think it's a really good movie. Okay, the next movie we have is Yesterday. Yesterday is basically about a family who 
always tells their children no because after they're doing something and finally they decided to do a day called yes day where there's a little bit of rules and boundaries on what they can and can't ask for but at the end of the day she has to say yes and her daughter really wants to go to this concert by herself but and so they kind of made a bet if i say no on yes day once she can go to the concert by herself but if she doesn't she ends up if she doesn't say no she has to go to the concert with her mom and she doesn't want that but yeah it's a really great movie i love the movie me and my family watch it it's a very good family orientated movie so yeah i recommend that one 10 out of 10. okay the next movie we have is mean girls i'm not going to explain this movie because this movie everyone knows about it everybody knows about mean girls i'm not going to explain it if you don't know about it just watch it it's a 10 out of 10 movie oh, it's so fat <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go to like a thriller movie, which is called Secret Obsession. Secret Obsession. Don't know why I said that like that. What this movie is basically about is about this woman. I think, I believe she gets in a car accident. I forgot what tragic thing happened, but she landed herself in a coma. And while she was there, it was this guy next to her saying that was her husband and saying, oh, we're married. So he moves. And she doesn't remember anything. Remind a coma, she lost her memory. She doesn't remember anything. So she just believes this guy saying it's her husband. They go into this log cabin like far away from everywhere. And she ends up finding out like little clues everywhere. Thinking like, is this my husband? And she's trying to remember if this is actually her husband. But he has an obsession with her. He keeps her like um no phone off the grid. Everything's like you can't contact nobody. He lives in like a cabin in a woods. So so yeah, that's what the secret obsession is about. I give that a 10 out of 10. I love that thriller movie. The next is a TV show we all know of. I'm not even going to explain it because it's a popular TV show. All American, about a football player. He's from Crenshaw and he transferred to Beverly Hill to try to make it to the NFL. I'm going to give you that short story because everyone already knows about All American. I'm not going to waste my breath on it. So yeah. Okay, this movie I just watched yesterday and I loved it. It was an amazing movie. It's called The Weekend Away. It's starring the girl from Gossip Girl. If you guys do not know about the famous show, Gossip Girl. Um, I think it's on HBO Max now. But Gossip Girl is a really big show, I think in the 2000s. I think it came out in 2002 or three. But it's a really big show and the person Blair starred in this movie. I love Love the movie. So The Weekend Away is basically about her best friend ends up going missing on his trip they both plan. So, um, what is her name in the show? I forget, um, Leighton Mester, that's her name in Gossip Girl. I mean, that's her real name. I have my gosh. I can't remember her name, so I'm gonna call her Kate. I think Kate is her name. So Kate, best friend, goes missing and she's off to find her, but she ends up going, like, let me explain this. The night before when she went missing, she was drunk and don't remember anything. So she thinks she probably could have killed her friend, but just don't remember it. So she go through all these clues and remembering everything that happened. And she ended up finding some incriminating clues about her. Her friend actually ended up the one who now is dead because she died. Um, ended up actually drugging her, actually putting, uh, I don't think she drugged her, but I think she asked for water, but she ended up giving her alcohol instead, like secretly, even though she asked for water because she just had a baby at home. So yeah, she ends up finding some incriminating clothes and has to find out why and why, who, and what killed her. Like why, what they killed her and when did they kill her? So she's going through the security footage. There's so many suspects that it's hard to actually know who actually did it. This is a fun thriller movie I love to watch. You guys need to watch it. And next we have a movie called Sierra Burgess is a Loser. I love this movie when I watched it, I think a few years ago. It was about this girl, I think her name's Sierra, and she's known as a loser in high school. So she wants to, I think she likes someone and she wants to fix up her style, but I think she ends up pretending to be someone else that she's not. So this girl, like one of the, she put like a skinny girl and text, um, a boy who she likes it as like a catfish. And then I end up meeting in person and I think I'm not gonna tell y'all what went down if you actually end up liking her or not but yeah it was a really great movie I love it my second to last Netflix this is a show it's called the woman in a house across the street from the girl in the window I feel like a lot of people have known about the show but it's kind of like a thriller suspense show what basically happens is, I think basically her kid passed a while ago so and someone moves across the street who has 
who is a man and a is a man and he has a daughter I'm trying to remember this is a man and daughter so basically she kind of like i think likes him because that seems like her perfect family of a husband and she has a daughter but in the thriller suspense what ends up happening is i feel like she has a condition i don't know i'm trying to remember that best as i can i feel like she has a condition because she ends up drinking wine all day and ends up passing out a lot so she doesn't really remember stuff that happens and then in the next uh not the next scene but a couple scenes or episodes later she ends up finding out that their wife what happened to their wife died too so they had something in common and then she ended up finding like oh i think the husband killed the father she ended up doing research because i think stuff was looking a little suspicious he was like why move here and she thought the husband killed the father he probably did there was so many suspects in this um uh, show thought the husband killed um killed the mother of the girl and the, then she thought it was her husband who it was a lot it really was a lot a lot just watch it it's a 10 out of 10 and the last show i have i recently watched it's like a comedy show it's called god's favorite idiot i'm just gonna read you the description because yeah, that's all i can do okay description on netflix says clark's simple simple life of cats and music takes a mystical turn after he's hit by lightning even his hard partying crush Amelie notice his eerie glow so basically he gets struck by lightning and he believes it's a message from god because all these devil and uh demons keep coming after him to try to attack him but then they the reason why they think he was uh chosen by god is because he got struck by lightning and he ended up glowing like he can literally glow and people are like you have to be chosen by god some people are against against him because he kept shouting out things like believe in god and god is here to protect us and i am chosen from god and people are protesting on his lawn it's like a funny comedy movie because the demons end up coming to fight him to kind of like i'm like a lucifer show but kind of not you know so that's a really fun comedy you should watch that as i'm sitting here editing the video and i just noticed that my clips on my phone have been deleted because my storage was full and i don't know why so i cannot finish the video but i definitely would do a part two where i would do like hulu and prime video because those were the rest of the shows i had so i'm sorry for the inconvenience my storage is full it's not full no more i fixed the problem so i can record all i want now so i'm sorry but before i'm going to end out the video right now so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn notification notify every time i post a video and i'll see you guys in part two which will probably be up soon i'm gonna record it and i'm gonna have it up soon for you guys i'm trying to get up fast so yeah see you guys later bye